And here we go again. Today I'd like to look at a program I discovered during the last month while I've been just browsing the web. I came across one or two things on my drive. I noticed this particular drive, C drive, was zooming up the amount of space was being taken up. And I couldn't determine quite what it was that was taking all that space up because I hadn't really done anything uh, brilliant. I will just add, when I found this program and did my tests, I ran, a pro ran the program and cleared some stuff out. But since then I've installed a game called World of Warcraft because uh, it's a free weekend and I don't like paying for it so I have a free weekend now and again. Anyway, that's beside the point. What I'm going to do is uh, show you more about this program and see if we can uh, show it to you properly. The program is located, just let me start my browser up here. I use Opera browser in case all those people that sort of asked me. I uh, use app Opera browser because it's easy to set up links. I'm going to go to antibody software, simple as it is, antibody-software.com and this will let us have a look at a program called WizTree. So I'm going to find it, which WizTree, that's the one there. So WizTree uh, 3.28, as you can see I've, I'm not going to download it now because I've already downloaded the program. It's already on the drive. Uh, so we won't say, we'll just cancel that. When we've downloaded it, it it's a quite a small program so it's not going to take too long. We go to our download file and we'll see here uh, WizTree. Double click on it and we get a setup. Now it, with me it's in this quite a good variety of languages there. Um, I think it's Chinese, Swedish, Portuguese, Norwegian, uh, Dutch, Italian, Greek, French, Spanish, English, German and Danish. Um, all available there. Um, I'm going to stick with English because I know that best of all. <laughs> Implying that I know some of the others <laughs> which is totally wrong. So we'll click Wistry and go next. The agreement, the license agreement is fairly straightforward. It's written in capitals, which to me is somebody shouting it at me. Well, they don't need that. They could have used lowercase. It would have been just as good. The view sit down here, so there's no reason not to. Basically, it just says if you damage your computer, don't blame them. It's something you've done wrong rather than the program. So I accepted that. It's going to put it on my C drive, and it's called WizTree, W-I-Z-T-R-E-E. So we'll just install it. Go for it. It's, as I say, it's only a small program, it's not big at all. Let's have a look at what we've got here. This is WizTree. Antibody software relies on donations. Now, it's not expensive. You can just donate $5, and that will get you um, get rid of this box at the top here. If you want to donate, I'm still using it, I'm still uh, testing it, so when I've done it, I will click on the Donate button and uh, make a donation. Right, so let's have a look at what we've got at the top here. We've got file options, quite a few of them there, which are probably meaningless because most of them greyed out at the moment. Other options are display dynamic values, uh, byte values, kilobyte, megabyte and gigabyte values. Leave it as, as it is for the time being because you don't need to change it anything. Uh, Windows Explorer context menu, always run as administrator because that way you can see programs that are running behind the scenes. Um, show allocated size on the tree map we don't need to do that uh, right away you can do I mean if you want to do that that's fine all this program all the bits I've looked at are very safe and uh, secure so don't worry about pressing if you do something wrong it'll soon tell you about it so let's have a look we've got our drives well, I've got my disk drive if I, I just open up my PC here uh, there it is I've got my C drive D drive and E drive one is the junk dump one which you're all familiar with and one is called web stuff that's where I keep all my uh, surprisingly web stuff isn't that a good name for it then eh so there's um, yeah local disk C is the one we're interested in so as I said this one was looking uh, when I looked on the, the uh, map here this uh, was heading towards the top and it was full, nearly full. So it was concerning. Anyway, let's scan C drive up here. Uh, you can choose any of the drives at all you want to scan. So we'll scan that one. It, it's not, it's not a big job. It's very pretty though when it comes to the four. There we go. Just let me tell you. Right, let's have a look at what we've got here. I'm just going to adjust this bar in a bit, so I can see more on that side. Keeps it more central as well. 
we have the coloured area in the bottom here in various denominations of different bits of colour and what have you so let's have a look over here C drive that's been percentage of parent it's 100% because it's a parent drive uh, program files let's just open that up a little bit World of Warcraft that is a massive program uh, it actually takes up 50, 53.6 gigabytes of space on the drive uh, but discount that at the moment because I say that was just a recent addition um, which will come off on Tuesday I think anyway unless I decide to start paying the subscription which I can't afford so we won't be doing that another one is Origin Games uh, I enjoy playing The Sims and other programs similar to that so Origin will take up a certain amount of space down below that we get a whole variety of different bits and pieces all taking up space uh, Windows itself takes up 16.5% of the drive or of the parent drive anyway users again 14% that is my files Howard whoa let's have a look see how much he's doing now look at this videos okay if I um, yeah if I click on Howard It'll show you all this box down here highlighted in white uh, then if I click on videos it shows this green big green area here is all videos so let's let's just have a let's just shrink the uh, the program down a bit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in I'm going to go into this uh, users Howard and then videos right and there they are look quite a lot it's still scanning as you can see by the uh, green progress line or progress bar I should say so what happens when I run my TV a DBV viewer DVB v viewer I should say can't even say it properly uh, when I run that it, um, it records everything on a time shift basis and if I if the phone rings I need to go to it, I can just pause the TV set and then carry on watching it when I finish with the phone call or if there's a particular program I'll sit and watch then it will record it for me in the background uh, I've got BBC News there where maybe I'm starting to watch it and then dinner served so uh, I pause it and watch it later and it's a way of recording without actually pressing the record button if you like it always runs it's always there but it also takes up a whole lot of uh, space on the drive as you see I mean one file here let's have a look at the properties of just one file and this is a gigabyte big that in itself is one gigabyte so do we need all that well really no I'm going to keep the first one because that is uh, a film I haven't fully watched yet so uh, I'll keep that one I'll highlight the rest and press the delete button and this will recycle 25 gigabytes I'm going to get rid of some of this other stuff as well here at the ones at the top. So I'll delete them as well. I'll keep those two because I think those are uh, the film I haven't watched yet. Horror film. <laughs> so we'll have a look in the uh, in the bin here. There they all are. And these are taking up an enormous amount of space. Okay. So we'll now click back to our whiz tree and see. And look. Look at the green box that we had highlighted that's all shrunk down into virtually nothing at all um, and that's what this program will do it will show you where it is now I do believe and I haven't really tried it but I do believe you can do things from within here you can actually delete and what have you from within the program so if I have um, a little tiny program I no longer want I can just delete it from here it's very good uh, file let's have a look uh, not quite sure yet how to look at things like your recycle bin which obviously would have increased in space so look here okay let's just slide that down a bit shrink it down and I'm going to empty the recycle bin 33 items and did we see anything change there I didn't see it so maybe maybe it doesn't check the inside but anyway if just again just popping back um, if I go to my layout for my drives uh, you'll notice this is already a couple of gigabytes smaller in size 
because I've cleared it out. The program does work, it works very, very well. Um, I still need to play around with it a lot. Right, it's 13 files in C, program files. Another favourite one I, I find does get um, fairly full fairly quickly. If I go to Users Howard and go to Updater, yeah, this is the one, and you'll find here somewhere a temporary folder. Maybe it's not showing. Oh, there we are, temp. It's surprising how much we get in there. And to be honest, once it's been in that temporary folder, we don't need it anymore. And as you can see, this has taken up 71.3% of the parent folder, which is the uh, temp folder here. So do we need all this? Um, certainly not. So we can highlight it all and right click and tell it to delete all that lot. Some of it you can't, obviously, because, like I said before, if you try to do something the uh, program doesn't want, then uh, it'll tell you just like it has done there. So go to the temp now. Uh, quite a bit of space still taken up. So we'll go to the, oops, we'll go to the recycle bin, empty the recycle bin, 99 objects, uh, continue. skip it if if it says try again it's because it's in use and uh, and therefore you don't want to uh, do this rule there you go that's good so that is all that lot emptied out and that again in turn has given me more drive space back again uh, let me close that up as you can see that has diminished quite considerably from what it was when I get rid of this World of Warcraft, you can see the amount of space on my drive is taken up. It's almost a third of the drive, I think. Um, doesn't actually say. No, that, I'll rephrase that. Almost a third of the space taken up on the drive is World of Warcraft. And uh, between that and games, that's all there is. So, I can do this on all the drives. I can, I can go and scan the dump, junk dump. Not that I'm going to delete anything from there, because... I use it all in some form or other. Uh, Steam is another games folder which I have. Uh, little kids games when the grandchildren come. Most of them are on Steam, so Steam apps, etc. You can see where they are quite easily. And again at the bottom here, the coloured panel shows you where certain programs are. You can click on just a little box here and find out what it is. And this is Files in D, SMFT, not totally sure what that is. And likewise, you can click on, like, uh, Fire Chief. If I click on that, it usually, in fact, it's not big enough to show up by the look of it. Yeah, so it, it's not really showing it up, so I might need to do the parent directory, which is this one down here. So there we are. That will That is where all those files are being held. So if you see, a, a, like, this colour here, bright red, uh, let's have a look at it. This is... Um, Windows 10 drive, which is not actually the Windows 10 drive, it's just where I keep stuff that I need for Windows 10, like uh, Windows desktop gadgets, the uh, um, classic shell setups, and all the rest of the programs that I do keep on that drive are all stored, as you can see there, taking up 73.1% of this, uh, oh, 74.5% of Windows 10 folder. So, as you can see, you can actually go through and you can you can itemize every single file on your, your computer if you like. This is Toonpack, which is a graphics display. I have actually shown this on uh, a recent... Also, I've actually shown this on a video for YouTube. Uh, so we have a look at these. Very tiny blob down there in the corner. Let's have a look at, have a look at something bigger. Maybe just the walkthrough itself. Yeah, very tiny blob down here, look. Uh, in the corner, that's where that file's located. You can see it. Arc Maps, that's um, Arc Survival Game, where you can see it does take up a bit of space, but hardly enough to show it. So other than just a little pixel on the uh, on the screen there, LibreOffice, which we use and have we've done demonstrations on. If I click on LibreOffice, can't see where it's showing. It probably is showing somewhere, but I can't see it. And again, these are all very small. 
percentage of the drives taken up. And, uh, and again, I wouldn't delete them because uh, there's no, no problem with the drive. It's plenty of space on the drives. So, uh, and again, it's all my saved stuff. This this one is uh, saved games from various programs. If I uh, save games or save files and that sort of thing, it automatically goes in here and it takes up quite a bit of space really. 54 megabytes it tells us. Uh, I don't know what this one is. This is uh, Twitch stream. So if I do any streaming on Twitch, uh, this is where it will be stored in this particular blob here. So as you can see, it's uh, you can navigate through the whole computer using just these little uh, bits and pieces. If we just click on image there, um, we can actually show, I think. Um, I haven't actually tried doing this. It's just something that uh, occurred to me. Um, OK, maybe we can't just see it. I'll just open it then. There we go, open it in PaintShop Pro. There we are, some guy playing football. Don't know where that is on my, uh, in which folder it's in. Let's have a, a look. My photography, right. So there we are, that's uh, uh, stuff that's stored on my drive. Let me just go back. Uh, let's go back to the C drive again. And whenever you come back to it, it will automatically rescan the drive. So you don't have to worry about losing where you were or anything like that. Um, so free OCR. Uh, quite a bit of space there. Can't see it on the map. So nothing to worry about. Everything's dwarfed by the World of Warcraft here, I think. So there we are. That This is your, uh, this is the whiz tree. You've looked at the options. You've seen the options. You can actually um, look at the colors where you can actually set different files at different colors. So if you wanted your uh, JPEGs to be a bright blue, then you could set it up in here. Um, it doesn't have to follow that color pattern. Uh, but I've always stayed, so far I've always stayed with the uh, default colors until I get used to the program a bit better. So it's up. Oops. Why am I getting a button? Oh, I've got to close this window first. OK. Didn't see that there. Uh, yeah, so plenty of guidance around your driver. I find this particular program very handy. It's got lots going for it. And I think almost certainly if we go to the donate button there at the top, uh, brings up the web page. And you can see the uh, amounts here. If you a gold supporter and you get free other stuff with it um, with $20 which is about £15 I think. It's funny how the computer freezes when it's gold supporter but no there are different levels I think a silver supporter is $10 and a, a bronze supporter is um, is $5 but either way whatever you decide if your program is really good for you and it, it works well for you then that is um, it seems like my computer's frozen. Oh dear, never mind. Oh, at last, there we are. Um, yeah, so whatever you decide is a good value for money, then pay that amount. But that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I hope that uh, you rush out and get it uh, get it onto your computer and try it out. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel, which is Howard L. Hall at YouTube, and of course. If you have any comments, then leave them, and I will answer every comment that you leave if I can, or at least I'll respond to every uh, comment that you leave. So thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.